I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4. Surely he carried our griefs. He bore our griefs and carried our sorrows. And yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten, or of God and afflicted by God. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities and just the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we were healed. Father, may you bless this word. May it bring comfort. May it bring wisdom. May it bring an understanding of God's plan concerning our lives. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Three things I would like to share with you this afternoon as you have your lunch. As it says, a man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. This is the word that ought to, ought, ought to feed you this afternoon. Number one, surely the word that says surely it's equivalent to the word that says truly truly or oh, verily verily in vernacular i would say nisile 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 onga ngokuthi njengonkulunkulu ephila surely as much as the lord lives this is as true as the Lord lives. That's what is being suggested by the words that says, surely. And the word of God says, surely he carried our pain, our disease. It suggests that God does not want and is not excited and is not happy to see you in pain, in grief, in disease. Disease is not, I mean, meant for you. You are not created for to be diseased or to be in disease. You are not created to carry the disease. So you know what God did? God sent Jesus for us, for you and I. You and I who were sick or who are, have a potential to be sick, he sent Jesus to carry that burden of illness, that burden of sickness, that burden of pain, that burden is on him. So that you and I, we are relieved from pain. So pain, sickness, disease, is not the plan and the will of God for your life. So Jesus came and became a substitute to take that grief away, to take that pain away, to take that sickness away from you. That's the plan of God. So anything, anything that promotes pain, disease, suffering in your life is anti-God. Is anti-God's plan in your life. No matter what. Because God's plan for your life, God's plan for my life is that I were or you are relieved from disease. You are relieved from pain. You are relieved from suffering. That's the plan of God. That's the plan of the living God. So where is this suffering coming from? So whatever is the source of suffering, whatever influences your pain and suffering is not from God. Therefore, do not team up or cooperate with it. Neither should you support it. Neither should you vote for it. Neither should you uh, promote it. It is anti-God. It is anathema. It is in opposition with the plan of God. 
concerning your life and the lives of God's people. What am I suggesting? My suggestion is that anything that promotes illness, sickness, disease must be rejected, must be resisted, must be confronted, must be transformed, must be changed. Praise God that he has given us intelligence, knowledge, skills to build hospitals, to be innovative, have medication, have medicine, have doctors, have um, medical intervention that will relieve the pain, the sickness, the disease. And thus, the wisdom, I believe, comes from God as part of the wisdom and the contribution that humankind are humbly contributing to the plan of God concerning pain relief, disease relief, sickness eradication or transformation, healing. That's the plan of God. Anyone that promotes healing moves along with God walks with God, is in support of God's plan for your life. So anything that is opposes healing in your life, it's an opposer of God's plan. So I'm saying reject it. Don't support it. Don't promote it. Don't encourage it. Reject it even in your life. What am I saying? Let me push this feather. In our lives, in your world, wherever you are, may we promote the well-being, the health, the reduction of diseases, the reduction of sickness, the reduction of pain. May we do so. Any institution that doesn't facilitate the healing, the relief from pain and grief is not in support of God. Is in oppos opposes the plan of God in our lives. Let's not promote it. Let's not support it. I want to call upon you. Let's work together and humbly contribute to the wellness to the well-being, to health, health of your mind, of your heart, of your life. Anything that promotes stress and strife in your life is not of God. It is of the evil one. Reject it. Do not contribute to it. Reject it. Therefore, I want to encourage everyone, let's cast all our cares unto him, for he cares for us. Let's rely on him. Let's pray to him. Let's desire life. Let's desire wellness because it is God that wants us to be well. Let me leave you with an illustration. Um, this one is a local one. For those that uh, have got funeral uh, policies and they've joined funeral policies, which is very good. I support that. I support that. But how many of us have got medical aid, aid and uh, have um, prioritized medical aid than funeral policy? It's just an illustration. Let's think more of that which will promote our wellness and the longevity of our lives because your life is uh, meaningful and contributes meaningful to the well-being of others as you continue to live as I continue to live. May God bless you.